In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick start way to get started with rigid body physics. Rigid body physics in Blender is a really fun way to be able to simulate how different objects interact with each other. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and start with this basic cube, and then I can click on the physics tab here. And if I click rigid body, and then I press play, all of a sudden now the world is acting on it. There are forces such as gravity acting on this cube. So now what I need to do is move the cube up by pressing G then Z and then pressing shift A to create a plane. So if I create a plane and then I tab into edit mode and it's important to use edit mode when working with rigid body physics so all the scales stay the same. I'll press S, scale this up, tab back to object mode, click on the physics tab and click rigid body. It couldn't be simpler than that. Now if I press play, wait a minute. Both of them are falling. That's supposed to be the ground. How do I make that not fall? Well, there are two types of rigid bodies in Blender, active and passive. So an active body is acted upon by all the forces. But if you make it passive, now this plane here will act as just something that is solid in the environment. And now watch, the cube falls onto the plane. Now that's not very excited because the initial position of the cube is very flat. If I click on the cube and I press R to rotate, and now it's at a strange angle and I press play, you'll notice that it moves a little bit more dynamically. I can also go back to the very beginning frame, press G then Z, move it up more. Now it'll have a bit more acceleration as it falls. And as you can see, now it moves around. There are different properties in the physics tab that we can change. So for example, right now it's convex hull. I could change it into a box and it's gonna be a bit more accurate since this is actually a box. So now it knows what type of shape that is. And the same thing with this, I can change this down to the mesh of it and it should react a little bit more accurately. So you can change how much friction is involved. So for example, this surface response here, if I make the bounciness more, now when it falls, It'll have a bit more bounciness, and if I lower the friction, it'll slide around a bit more. So you see how there it rolled a bit more because it has less friction. And what really makes rigid body physics fun is when you have a number of objects. So we can press Shift D to duplicate our objects, then highlight them, press Shift D again, duplicate them a bit more, highlight them all, press Shift D, and have some more. I like them all, press Shift D, then G, then Z. And now we have quite a bit, and then we can press R, Z, rotate these ones. And now if we play our physics simulation, all the boxes bounce around together, which is a lot more fun. So let's go ahead and add some color to these objects. So we'll go back to the very beginning here, and we'll click on this object, and we'll go to the material, and then we can just change this material to say green, and then go to the material preview. And now our boxes are all green and they'll look a little bit more interesting as they fall. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully you can play with rigid body physics very quickly in Blender. There's a lot more to cover, but this is just a quick start guide to rigid body physics in Blender to get you started animating all kinds of smashing blocks and fun. Happy 3D modeling.